Hey there, back with another acrylic painting. This is of a jackdaw that I've taken from a stock photo which I will leave in the description below. I started off with a lemon yellow and blue acrylic paints and I mixed them to create um, a dark green and a light green because I wanted the background to have a gradual gradient. Then I used my palette knife to apply a very thick layer of paint and blended it with the palette knife and then once I blended and got the colours where I wanted them I used the back of the palette knife to create a bit of texture because I thought I, I don't want I want the background to kind of look blurred and less in focus so then the bird is more the focus of the painting so I created this texture with the back of the palette knife by laying the palette knife flat and then lifting it up so it creates like these weird craters almost in the paint and I, I really like the effect um, I think it's different anyway it's something that I don't usually do in the backgrounds of painting but yeah it worked out okay once I had let this dry I started on the bird um, which jackdaws are mainly white black and maybe a bit of Payne's grey in the the crown of the bird so I start mixing the the Payne's grey and different greys from black and titanium white um, and this I then create layers so I start off with a very light layer um, of the base colour of the bird and then I layer up the different parts of it um, to create darker areas and blending um, just to create a basis for me to start putting detail on so you can start seeing what the bird actually looks like. So I start by doing that all over the body, like I said, light to dark and then I start doing the details on the face. So I did the eye where it's a lighter at the top and then it it gradually gets darker at the bottom and it's in this nice blue colour, they've got kind of strange eyes. I then um, focused on the beak where I used Payne's Grey and then I used a bit of burnt umber to add a bit of brown tinge to the furry, I don't know what you'd call it, uh, furry layer on the top of the beak um, that then moulds into the feathers of the, the crown of the bird. Um, so it took me a couple of times to just get a bit of the detail in there so I used one of my finer brushes um, created shadowing and feather like uh, strokes I didn't I didn't want this to be really really detailed but detailed enough so you could see it was a bird you could see some of the feathering but it wasn't something that I wanted to spend hours and hours on um, yeah so like I said, layering up the colours, I lightened some of the burnt umber with some white um, to create some highlights on that beak. I then start moving on to the crown and at first I added a bit too much feathering on that. I didn't like the very harsh strokes I used so later on you'll see me mould that in and as you've probably noticed the background has changed quite a bit. I decided to use a lighter green for the background so I, instead of having to do the palette knife thing because the texture is already there it's already dried on with the paint all I had to do was mix the light green colour and then just run that on the background uh, over it let that dry and then I wanted to have some faded branches in the background so I just took um, a little bit of like a black and a bit of the burnt umber and just um, stippled that onto the background so it blended in with the green paint as it was um, wet and it also created this kind of like blended blurred um, look of uh, branches in the distance. So back onto the bird, um, I think my favourite part of this whole bird when it's finished is the wing, It kind of I like how blended it looks and I, th I think it looks like a wing uh, of a bird, like a real life wing. Um, but yeah, like I said, I'm just layering up the colours. There's a couple of times where I will i won't like the look of the colours I've used, so I'll do a wash of a new colour and then start again layering up the colours. And it took me a while to blend all the colours in to make it all look like it was 
feathers and flowing and blending of coloured feathers into one another. So you'll see me go over a couple of bits quite a bit um, and modify them all. Um, yeah, so I keep doing that and then once I've gotten the basis of all the feathers I start adding shadow in with black and shading under the wing, um, around the neck area underneath the beak, around the eyes and in some of the darker areas of the uh, feathers. Um, I then add highlights um, towards the end after I've added um, fine feathers and I use shadowing and highlights with a very fine brush just to create all the feathers um, yeah I think that's it and then I take my masking tape off and you can see the um, finished product thank you for watching and I hope you enjoy enjoyed the video um, please give me a thumbs up if you enjoyed it and subscribe and stay tuned for more videos thank you